For this project, I started with a 19 by 13 inch mirror that I had picked up at a garage sale. I cleaned it up and then I took white chalk paint and just dry brushed it around the top of the mirror just to brighten it up a little bit. I still wanted it to look distressed. Then I flicked it, flipped it over and I took clear silicone caulk and I put that around the perimeter of the back where the mirror meets the frame so that the resin wouldn't leak through. After I was done with that and it had dried, I took painter's tape and put that around the perimeter just as an extra precaution against resin leaks. So this is a vase I picked up at a garage sale and I apologize if you've seen my other two videos before this where I use this exact same vase and kind of go through the steps. So feel free to fast forward through this part if you want. Here you can see me drawing the outline of a sail because I'm making sails for a sailboat and um, what a hard time it's giving me. Sometimes glass is unpredictable and here it looks like I'm going along okay, cutting along the perimeter and then voila, it just cracks where it wants to. So um, don't let this discourage you because some glass, like I said, is extra thin and just um, very fragile and sometimes it'll even crumble. So I'm kind of struggling with this glass and I want you to see this because um, I've been doing this for a while and um, I want you to know that it's, it's not just you, it can be the glass and I also have problems with it. So um, just do the best you can and kind of um, go along the perimeter of the shape that you want and um, this can also be sanded after if you want. Um, and that's what I end up doing with these pieces. This glass cannot be tumbled because it is painted on the other side. The white and the stripes are painted and the paint would come off in the tumbler. I'm also making some sails from this glass, which was a vase that I had previously broken up. And I'm trying to make some larger sails with this. And this is also very thin glass. So, um, like I said, glass doesn't always break up the way you want it to, but I am able to get a couple of sails out of this. This is painted glass. You can see the scratches in it, and that's one indication that it's painted glass on the inside. When you're looking at thrift shops and garage sales for glass, um, if the paint, if the, <laughs> the color comes off or you see scratches in it, you know that it's painted. So um, the only problem with painted glass is that you cannot tumble it. So next I take this out to the garage and I do use a sander to sand down the edges and it also you can help to reshape it because sometimes when you nip it, um, it does leave the edges a little bit bumpy. Um, all depending on, of course, the glass that you're using. Sometimes it actually cuts fairly smooth, but I went ahead and smoothed out all the edges on the pieces that I was going to be using. And with the sanding, it also takes the sharp edges off so that you can't cut yourself. Remember, because this is painted glass, you cannot tumble it. The paint will come off. And then here's some of the glass, the tumbled glass that I used for the very bottom of the boat. And this is glass that I picked up at garage sales and thrift stores, broken up and tumbled in my tumbler for up to a week. And then here's some white glass that I also used for the sails and I just cut a long strip of it and went ahead and cut back and forth and made triangles and um, some of them came out okay and some of them didn't. And um, I apologize if you've seen this on my other two videos, you can just fast forward through it. So here I'm just showing you, you see the piece of glass that flew over there. If you hold your nippers sideways, it goes to the side. If you hold your nippers down, the glass will go down into the box. I'm kind of holding it sideways, thinking that you guys can see it a little better this way. So here I continue um, nipping back and forth because I do use this for multiple projects. And like I said, if you have seen this in my previous videos for my other two sailboats, just go ahead and fast forward right through it.
So I start by taking my crushed shelves that I had picked up at Michael's and putting that around the bottom. Then I take some small shells and put that on top of the crushed shells. Now I've mixed my resin up off camera and the resin I'm using for this project is called Craft Craft Resin Creative Liquid Crystal Clear. It's a 24 hour curing resin that I really like a lot. And um, the only thing is it's a fast curing resin so you cannot use it on canvas. After I mixed it, I did let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes just to let the bubbles rise to the top, and many of them did dissipate at that time. So I go ahead and I drizzle some on the mirror, and I start drizzling it over the crushed shells. And I just go ahead and use a spoon to spread it all out. And um, a lot of times I'll put all the glass on first and then drizzle it over, but because I'm using so much crushed glass, I decided to do it this way. Now this is Michael's crushed glass, this blue that I have here, they have up at Michael's all year round. And um, here you see me putting all the sails and the bottoms of the boats on for the sailboat. And this is a little whale that I made up. It's some gold glass that was tumbled oh gosh probably a couple years ago and I just went through it and found something that was the shape of a whale and the whale's tail I thought that would look cute in the water and then I go ahead and I take this glass that I also picked up at Michael's and this was at the holiday time and it's a very pretty iridescent glass and I thought I would put it right at the line of the beach and the water to kind of simulate some waves, some, you know, the water coming up onto the shore. You have to keep your eyes on the glass that they have at Michael's because they'll have it at different holidays and then it's gone. And once it's gone, it's gone. So um, I suggest at the different holidays, go up to Michael's, walk around or look online and see what they have because that uh, pretty iridescent glass that I just put on, I bought a whole bunch of it because they don't have it there anymore. Maybe it'll come back out at Christmas time, I'm hoping. Next, I'm using some more crushed glass from Michaels. This is the silver reflective crushed glass. It's a little bit smaller than the blue, and this is one that they have all the time up there. That's the one that you can use various methods to color it or change the color of it. And then I use some little pearl um, beads that I had gotten on a strand from Amazon and um, I use that to, <laughs> it's kind of a pain, I use that to simulate the water spout of the whale and I'm messing around with a little toothpick. Finally I give up and I stick my fingers in there. But um, I use the kitchen torch to get rid of the bubbles. This needs to sit on a flat level surface overnight this is a full cure in 24 hours at temperatures between 70 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. All resins are different. You need to read the directions for the resin that you are using. So here I thought I was done and then my son said your um, <laughs> horizon line is way too high that it should be way lower like towards the bottom of that boat there. So I said oh you're right this looks awful. So back to the drawing board. So I just went ahead and used that same blue crushed glass and put it over the very top and then re-resined the very top of it and just let it cure overnight. This is what it looked like the next day. So next what I did was I took a piece of tape to kind of um, give me a border for the horizon line and I took some stained glass spray, the soft blue Krylon stained glass spray, and I sprayed it into this little glass bottle. So you need to be wearing a respirator with this, um, you know, especially if you're doing it indoors. And um, the reason I put it in the glass bottle was if you've watched any of my previous videos, it totally ate through the plastic. <laughs> so you have to use a glass bottle and I went ahead and I painted it on and I went painted it over and over and with this being translucent even if a little bit drips down onto the mirror you still see the mirror through it I did try to just keep it up onto the pieces of glass and again being translucent you could still see the reflective surface of the glass 
because this is the blue glass from Michaels, but it does have a silver reflective surfaces on one of the sides. And then next I went ahead and I got the Tamaya translucent blue spray paint. It's a darker blue and I did the same thing. I went ahead and I sprayed it into the glass bottle, another glass bottle, and I continued on up to the horizon line painting all of the glass as best I could and trying to keep it on the glass. Some did drip down onto the mirror, but being translucent, you could still see the mirror through it and it still looked real pretty. And when I did take the tape off, I found that my, <laughs> my horizon line was a little bit crooked, so I had to kind of straighten that out. Next, I took that same white glass that I had cut up earlier for some of the sails and I went ahead and I nipped real thin pieces just like that over and over and over again and it's in your best interest to nip a whole bunch extra what I'm doing is making wings for birds and uh, that way you have quite a few to choose from because not all of them will turn out the way you want it and um, then I chose I believe I made three birds so I had to choose six wings and you want the ones that can stand on the side um, on their own. They're thick on one end and then get real skinny at the very top. And those look the best for wings, just like this one here. So next I took that iridescent glass that I had used to put down by the shoreline and I made clouds out of it. And uh, just kind of piled it up a little, um, hoping that they looked like clouds. And then I took my little birds and put uh, all three of them on. So I feel like you can't see the bottom part of that um, middle boat. So I decide to paint it a green with UV resin and I take some UV resin and some green mica powder and mix it together and paint it on top of the boat. And then of course I have to use the UV light to um, set it and I end up doing a couple of layers of it and it really looks a lot darker. It was just kind of blended in because remember what I've said in previous videos that when you use a translucent glass on something that's darker, a lot of times it will become darker or become transparent and just kind of blend into the background. So I mixed up some more resin up off camera and I went ahead and drizzled that over all the clouds, the birds, while the UV resin was setting and then I drizzled it over the Krylon and the Tamiya spray paints that I had sprayed on underneath. And I also put some over the UV resin just to seal everything in. And then this needed to cure overnight. Hey everyone. <laughs> so I brought this outside. I was hoping with it being in the sun, you could see how sparkly it is. It just turned out so pretty. And honestly, um, had I put the glass at the right level at the horizon line and, um, and had the uh, smaller glass up on top, I don't think it would have been as pretty. So what I'm saying is I'm kind of glad I made that mistake. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and I was able to pop off. I had two larger shells here and I used the heat gun on it and I was able to pop off the uh, two uh, larger shells. So I'm really happy about that. And I mean, it's been about a week since I finished this, so um, that's great. So yeah, I think you just have to be careful, especially if it's on glass. And the color of this <laughs> boat has changed like four times. It was first maybe blue, and then I did it green, and then yellow, and then white. Someone had suggested that I do my other boats that um, on the long cabinet door that I did the green had kind of disappeared into the water and they had suggested I do them red. And um, I thought about doing this red so that it would stand out, but then I thought, oh, then it'll be too red, white, and blue, like 4th of July. So I decided um, just to do it, keep it like that. Anyway, um, and, uh, oh shoot. Uh, of course, now this was a mistake, so that's why I had to use the, um, the spray paint and paint it on. So if you were wanting to achieve this effect <laughs> without making a mistake, you could um, of course take this glass and spray it and then do just different, you know, la layers of glass 
in the different colors and then the lighter up at the top, like how this turned out. And um, can you just see that sparkle? I think that's just so pretty. It turned out so pretty. Um, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I love to hear your comments and suggestions. We have the Facebook page now, and you know, a lot of the people on it have been doing the glass art a lot longer. There's some who are just beginning. So I'm really, I'm learning something every single day. Um, so I hope you guys join us with that. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. If you enjoy the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.